Wedding Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And this is the one and only Widow Fighting Kitty Zeno Asagiri. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kangen Omega Chapter 238. But before we get into this recap and live reaction, let us just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me... This adorable little fighting kitty and this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, Kat, I hope this isn't one of our last live reactions for, for Kang and Omega because, man, it's not looking good for us right now. But, man... My god, it's getting getting really hype up in here because at the end of last chapter, Kuroki Kuroki challenged Shenmue Long. I'm so hyped for this, you have no idea. Oh my god. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Dream Team. Ooh. I challenge you, Connector. Kuroki Genzai. Connector, you have a visitor. Oh, don't get shot. What are you trying to do? <laughs> Enough of these games. How perceptive of you. This guy here is the real Connector. <laughs> just drop it. The gig is the, just drop it. The jig is up. Good grief. There's no going around this. Do it. <laughs> Damian, this art is beautiful. And I know for a fact that this is not AI or hand drawn over AI. This is hand drawn. I know it is. <laughs> Woo! Double Lance, let's go! Hmm, incredible. Dude, he blocked it! Wow! You're stronger than anyone else I've met in this country. Woo, he made the connector block. Say the word, head. Let's take him out, as you wish. Hold on a sec. I'll take him on. Ooh. Meanwhile, you handle the other two. <gasps> Woo! So you're the monster everyone's talking about. <gasps> Woo! Woo! Oh my god! So we got so not only do do we got um uh Genzai here, we got we got Ron and Aguido! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude, this chapter is probably gonna be the best chapter in this manga! Oh my god! Oh my god! I see you're a worthy quarry, alright, dude! This is so amazing! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, they what? I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Nogi. Um, and this is uh, uh, at the Prime Minister's uh, residence. But the faction in my party that opposed the Kenyan match took matters into their own hands. I don't give a shit. <laughs> sorry, Nogi, I don't care. This is epic. They hired Kuroki Genzai to eliminate the connector. What have they done? Have them rescind that order immediately. It's too late. What? What, what do you think? Wait, what do you think they're talking about? About ten minutes ago, Kuroki and his um, associates arrived at the Bilton Hotel where we assume that the connector is staying? Um, who are his associates exactly? Kano Agito and Roland Denaire? It's the worst possible dream team! No, this is the best possible dream team! What the fuck are you talking about? Things can't get much worse than this! Oh, things can't... No, can things get better than this? That's a great question. Can things get any better than this? Like, for real? <laughs> oh, when, if Oma and, um, and Ryuki and Ryan can surpass their limits, oh, it, oh, it, it, it might actually get better than this, to be honest. Then there's, then you got Setsuna, because we don't know, like, 
here's the thing with Setsuna, and I'm putting my my husbando bias aside, okay? Because Setsuna and my husbando, you know, I'm weird. And I accept it. We don't know, like, everything Setsuna is capable of. And you might have something going on there with Setsuna, for real. You do. So you might have something going on with the, um, with those four. Oh, I hope so. Please. Please give me that, Sandrovich and Daramion. I need that. Provoking them will result in calculable damage. Yeah. Fuck's sake. I guess some uh, glory hawking idiot must have lost control. <laughs> I gotta thank you, Kuroki. This will be the most fun I've had in years. Your barbarity is worthy of death. <laughs> And also, this art is fabulous. This aura is giving me so much life. But man, I wish this... I, my only complaint is, I wish I was getting more from this aura. I feel like I need more. I do. Guess they're not backing down, huh? Well, they've got that outlaw spirit. Yeah, the outlaw spirit. Let's go. You t uh, two take the wings. I want to fight them one-on-one. -on -one. Ooh, here we go. This is quite the surprise. I didn't, I didn't expect to find a master like you in Japan. Ooh, there's the killing intent. But I'm sure you have experience enough to tell just how insurmountable the power gap is. Ooh, ooh, he blocked it. Oh, ooh, not only did he block it, he got a hidden. Oh, impressive. Allow me to demonstrate that victory is not determined by strength alone. Dude, this is going to be so epic. God damn it, I hope this is my last chapter. Oh my god, please, gods. Oh my god, I want to be around to cover this. Please. Dude, this is going to be the best freaking fight of this entire manga. And I'm including Kengen Asura for real. Oh my god, this is going to be the best freaking fight. Oh my god. Agito's fight might be... No, I don't think Agito versus Zeon is, is... Oh god, that's a good question. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I want to know. Do you guys think... Agito versus Zia is going to top Kuroki versus Shen Long. I don't think it's going to top that. No fucking way. And remember, with Zia, he does have um, uh, Superman syndrome. He does. But the thing I don't know with Zia is, um, with Zia Yan, is, un is if... Similar to his, because uh, I don't remember. His brother, I don't think, mastered his uh, Superman syndrome. I don't think he did. Did I don't think we know if Zia Yan mastered his Superman syndrome. I know, if I remember correctly, it's, they said it wasn't as strong as, like, Wakatsuki. Because, remember, Wakatsuki has super, uh, Superman syndrome as well. But I don't think it's as... I don't think uh, um, the uh, the Zia twins are like as strong as um, as Wakatsuki's because their, their Superman syndrome was divided between the two of them. But as uh, Kuroki said, sometimes doesn't strength isn't everything. There's technique. But if Zia Yan mastered his Superman syndrome, you know, via different techniques and shit like that, that'll be a different story. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just double checking here. And, um, yeah, so both, remember the twins both, um, were born with low level super, uh, Superman syndrome, which make his muscles, um, twice as strong as the average man's. But unlike, um, Unlike G, um, Yan, um, 
was more diligent in his training. So he might have um, mastered his um, or can utilize slash master his um, uh, Superman syndrome to um, the fullest. Yeah. But unlike um, unlike Zia G, who uh, has um, wait has a more innate talent, um, but we don't know the full extent of his uh, of his abilities, which we're probably going to see in this fight against Agito. There we go. This will be very very interesting. Very very interesting. I'm very curious what you guys think. I think this fight against, um, I, again, I don't think the fight against um, Agito is going to be the best in this entire manga. I think um, Kuroki uh, versus Shemulong is definitely going to be the best in this entire manga. I really do. It's going to be hard to top this. This is going to be epic as hell. But I honestly think... The uh, Zia Yan versus Agito was definitely going to be up there, man. It is, especially since we're going to, uh, since I think this is where we're going to find out um, the truth about uh, Zia, Yan's, um, Zia Yan's power and like all about more of his diligent training and all that, like the results of that. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be the case. I wonder if we're going to see like, um, his true form or whatnot. But I think the other thing as well we might see here is why Shen Wulong picked um, Zia Yan over Zia G. I feel like that's going to be the case here. Well, obviously, besides Zia G being a complete asshole. <laughs> I'm very curious what you guys think in regards to that in particular. Um, Roland's fight is going to be interesting, but I, I don't know. I don't think Roland's fight is going to be the best in this, or like one of the best in this, well, it could be one of the best in this manga. It could. Let's be real. This is definitely going to be, these fights are definitely, in general, these three fights are going to be the best in the um, in this, uh, at least in Kengen Omega. Um, in general, but as I said, Kuroki versus um, Shemu Long is definitely going to be the best in uh, the this entire series. Agito versus um, uh, Zia Yan is probably going to be one of the, I want to say maybe one of the best in this entire series as well. Depend, I think it's going to depend on what um, Zia Yan's uh, abilities are, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's gonna. I think that's what we'll, we'll, that's gonna be it. It's gonna be depend on what Zian's abilities are, the dormant abilities are, that we haven't seen. Yeah, because we don't know. We don't know what Zian's true power is. I think that will determine if it will be like one of the best fights in the entire series. I think it will definitely be one of the best fights in Kangen Omega. Yes, in the entire series, we'll we'll see. But the um, the Roland fight, I don't know. That one, I'm not sure if it will be the best in this in the entire series. Probably one of the best in Kang and Omega, but I don't think it's gonna be the one of the best in the entire series. No. But what do you guys think of um of this chapter? I'm so love. I oh my god, I'm so hyped for these fights, man. Oh my god, you guys thought Kuroki was gonna get knocked out easily. I saw some of you comments. Some of you guys said he was gonna get knocked e out easily. But I like that, um, I like that the Prime Minister just sent him. I like that. I like that it was the Prime Minister that just sent them, um, that, uh, that, uh, um, that the Diet just sent them out there. I like that. I thought that was great. I think that just makes this even better. In all honesty, I'm very curious what you guys think in regards to that. Um, and do you guys, what do you guys think the result of this fight, of these fights are going to be? Um, I know you guys were saying that in the comment section that, um, that Kuroki is 
probably going to die, which is, I definitely can see, um, see happening. I can see him being defeated. But the other thing here, I have to wonder, um, and I said this in the comment section as well, I honestly think that um, Shen Wulong is going to fuck with him, kind of like with, um, actually, here's the thing with Shen Wulong, especially based on the end of this chapter, I don't think Shen Wulong is going to fuck with him like he did with uh, Mukaku. I don't think so. No. Do I think Shen Wulong was holding... The real question is, was Shen Wulong holding back at all here? To, like, kind of, um, test, uh, uh, to test Genzai? Hmm. I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Shen Wulong was holding back just a little bit to test Genzai? Part of me is thinking a little just a teeny bit maybe, but the other part of me is like, no, I don't think he was holding back. Maybe that, if anything, maybe just a teeny bit because he had to block Kuroki, which is something that um, Ziyan said it was a rare thing. So let, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. I think we're gonna see Shen Wulong go all out. He's not gonna be playing games. Nah, he's gonna go all out. And I don't think, I don't think, Kuro, is Kuroki going all out? Hmm. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Kuroki was going all out here as well? I don't think he, hmm. Because he says here at the end, allow me to uh, demonstrate that victory is not determined by strength alone. He's not going all out. He wasn't going all out. He was just giving a taste. So we'll see. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think either of them was going all out. It was just a taste. Ooh, that explains the, um, okay, if that's the case, like I think it is, then, um, then going... Then let's go back to page seven and hell even, um, you say, yeah, even page, um, even the first page, you see the auras, you see how small the auras are and hell even, um, looking at, uh, Shen Wulong's aura on, um, page five, that would explain it. Why the auras are so small. It's because they're not using their full power. Ooh, Daryl Mion, I can't wait to see what the ores are going to look like when they are using their full power. Ooh. Yeah, even um, at, uh, if you look at page six, yeah, Shen Wulong is not using, he's barely using any of his power. Yeah. Yeah, they're not, they're not using their full power. No. I would say that, um, Ron and Agito were using a little bit more than, um, than Kuroki, but yeah, if you look at page uh, 12, yeah, you could see that, um, when they're like side by side, yeah, you could see that Roland and Agito were using a little bit more power than, um, than Kuroki. But yeah, dude, this is going to be amazing when they go full power. Dude, I can't wait to see when they go full power. Holy shit, Daryl Mion, I can't wait to see what this aura looks like when they go full power. Oh my god, this is going to be beautiful. And for those, um, what I was saying earlier in regards to the, it being hand-drawn, something that um, Daryl Mion has told me in regards to the combat art that the combat art for the most part um, is all hand drawn. Um, in regards to the AI stuff, and this is how I know it's AI based on conversations that I've had um, with Jeremy on. Um, usually, the AI he uses AI for um, for backgrounds um, and for more of the um, art that is towards the photorealistic side of, of uh, the spectrum, like with the um, like with the viral bacterial art that we saw. And, um, and stuff like with, uh, and he'll do uh, hand-drawn over AI, like with uh, the apocalyptic art that we saw um, a couple chapters ago. So, 
I thought it was worth uh, pointing it out so that way you guys understand uh, what I'm talking about. This is why you follow me on Twitter, because I did talk to Magica. <laughs> but um, anyways, l um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys uh, thought of this chapter. Um, are you guys really hyped for these fights like I am? Um, do you guys think that, um, which fight do you think, which fights do you think are going to be the best in the entire series? Do you guys agree with me that the Kuroki, um, at least until, let's be real, um, hell, even if, even with, um, uh, Ryuki, Ryan, and Oma, and hell, maybe even Setsuna, even when they come back into the picture, um, do you think that, um, Kuroki versus Shenmue Long will be the best in the entire series? Uh, same with, it's at least going to be one of the best, let's be freaking real. Um, and what about um, Igido versus um, uh, Zia Yan? Um, what about Roland's fight? I, I, Roland's, I think, will be, as I said, will be one of the best in Omega. I don't think it's going to be one of the best in, in the franchise. Igido, again, I think it will be depend on what we get with uh, um, Zia Yan's uh, side in particular, especially since we don't know... Um, the extent of his power yet oh it'll be oh i can't wait to see it i can't wait to see zia yan's full power oh i can't wait um to get that in his back and like more of his uh backstory uh his side of the backstory with the uh, um shen Wulong. that would be very 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 interesting um but man that shit with shen Wulong and kuroki especially when they go full power Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love, love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Kengen content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.